Hey everybody, as fires continue to ravage our forests here in California, I just wanted to show you something here at the Caldor Fire. We're along Mormon Emigrant Trail, where a lot of work has happened over the last several years to treat this area. You've heard a lot of people calling for forest management, and this is what that looks like. Look at this area here. It has been thinned out mechanically. Trees have been cut down, pulled from the area. The forest floor has been cleaned up. And you can see the fire came up out of the canyon and it just burned right along the floor, just burned in the pine needles that are left behind. But it left the trees intact. The fire had no fuel to get up into the canopies and jump from tree to tree. And so with that management, that stopped the fire as it came up out of the canyon, leaving it just to smolder here in uh, the vegetation that's left on the ground. So. Um, that is what people want to see when they're calling for forest management, as we've had some major incidents here in California. Street after street, home after home. Driving through Grizzly Flats today, it is clear the Caldor fire tore through this community, leaving little behind. The unknown is like, oh my gosh, is this really true? Can this really happen? Judith Ann Calzada evacuated her beloved home that she has lived in since 1989. Today, she found out it is still standing. Judith told me she prepares for fire season year round. It was my passion. I never looked at it as far as being work. It was something that I found great joy in and great peace and tranquility to be able to do. Clearing pine needles, keeping her yard moist, maintaining trees and creating lots of defensible space. She even has forestry come out to her property to do their own safety check. 